What's up guys, I'm Jizinski, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. In the last episode, we went out into the wilds in search of the bandits that had been attacking Oleg's trading post after we had arrived at his trading post. We found those bandits, slew them, found some information about the Stag Lord, managed to turn a few of them away from the Stag Lord, and discover that there is a hut out in the wilds that some sort of hideous fog is coming from and it's you know it's harming people and there's this fairy like creature that need our help a nymph i think it was pretty wild uh i highly suggest you go back and look at the video it's been a while for you but if you're coming straight from that video well then we should probably just get into it but we had just taken a quest from oleg uh, he was talking to us about some kind of boar that was causing troubles, so we're gonna go deal with that boar. So let's just go back out on the main map and search for that boar. Let's see if we have too much inventory. Oh my god, we are overloaded. That is probably why we are traveling at such a slow pace on the overall map. So we're gonna go ahead and clear out our inventory, and I'll be back after we clear out our inventory. Alright, I just finished clearing out our goods here, so now we're going to head off into the wilds. And also I decided to take off my shield, because I, it looks like that In our time. good friend Valor will be our tank, so I don't really have to worry about that, so I'll just be two-handing this, uh... What I have here is a longsword plus one, and I'm, I'm really excited about that, because plus one weapon is always awesome. Because I think it has a magical effect on it as a bonus to, you know, doing more damage. I could be totally wrong about that. That's how it is in 5e. Might be the same way here, but I have no idea. But let's get on the move. Look for that boar. Uh, trophies left here. What, I can't... I'll just leave. It's fine. It's fine if they're all here. I don't care. They'll all just be in that chest. That's fine. And, of course, we're taking everybody. Alrighty. Now, we have any information on this tusk gutter uh little pop star bombardment okay um i can't i don't really know where this boar might be probably out here in the forest somewhere so let's just go see if he's out there he's found it down loaded up and trucking are we gonna do what they say can't be done we'll camp real quick and then we'll head up into those hunting grounds and the main cook spoiled the hearty meal what happened Lindsay? Oh, I awoke suddenly in the house. Dogs were howling fiercely not far away. It smelled like burning. The wooden walls were steaming hot, and the smoke was wreathing beneath the low ceiling. I tried to open the door. I pushed the door with my shoulder, but it wouldn't budge. The flames were starting to crawl up the walls. I grew short of breath, and I sat heavily on the floor. My skin felt cold. I heard the murmur of the water and the soft lapping of waves. After opening my eyes, I saw a rocky river bottom and bloated body tangled in green water weeds. The drowned man's empty gaze was fixed upon me. The drowned man's mouth opened slowly and a hoarse whisper said, Shrike River, Lendil. This moment I finally awoke, drenched in sweat. I told them what I'd seen in my dreams. The Shrike River. It's down this way. These horrible dreams that plague my nightmare. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I don't know what caused it. Oh, Tusk Gutter's lair is up here. Hmm. Well, yeah, let's just go. Let's deal with Tusk Gutter. Oh, an encounter. I tire. Oh, that's a few two dudes. Few dudes. Technic League's mage. A group of well-armed fighters approaches. One of them raises their voice, pointing at you. Hey, you! Stop right there! Kalana, look at this one. Will he do? The group's later lays her cold leader lays her cold and watchful eyes upon you. This one, I suppose. But I don't like his snout. She ch studies your companions carefully, but nonchalantly, as if examining goods at the market. Listen, you tramps. We're from the Technic League. Our slave died, and we need a replacement. One of you will be coming with us. The rest of you are free to go. I advise against resistance. It would be a quick trick to kill every one of you. 
choose now the one that you will give. No negotiations with slavers. Big mistake. Yeah! Okay, Amiri. Charge that mage. This I'll take this one. Valerie, Never take that guy. Uh, let's see here. Let's daze that guy. Let's go. Ooh, Amiri, you're going. Charge that one, too. Ooh, we got her. You've crossed paths with the Technic League. This will not be the end of it. Alright, uh, let's... How are we on health? We're doing just fine. Ear piercing screen, let's go. Oh, I'm missing... She's missing... This is a pretty tough one. Heal wounds on me. All right, time to actually do something here. This spell doesn't work I'll... like that. What do you mean it doesn't work like that? Okay, I'm about to do that on him. And let's see here. Do -do -do -do. So you can use a melee weapon to clear. Okay. This didn't work. Okay, they have, have to be like pretty injured already. It looks like. <laughs> This guy's almost dead? Jeez, they are thick. Alright. Um, this is actually a real fight. But I think they're very close to death. Yeah, we just have to get another good hit on a few good hits on them. Yeah, we got them all. The Technic League, eh? I'm tired already? Must be because of the bad rest we got. There's nothing really good on these guys, is there? Here we go. An S stock. One handed scroll of burning hands. Alright, let's uh, let's get out of here. The insidious henchmen of the ominous, ominous Technic League have disappeared in the thick wilderness of the mysterious stolen lands, but not for long. Soon we'd beat upon them. First though, we'd have to pick up their trail. To do that we uh, let's just do Oh, we have Arcana twenty, so let's do use that. Wow, failed. Funch just spells such an elusive thing, it can hardly be called a thing at all, no matter how hard we thought. We still no way we, what exactly she used. We had to find another way. We nature. There we go. Eight hours passed. Wow, we failed that too. But uh, let's see here. Henchmen of the Ominous Technic League use this peculiarity of the landscape to cover their tra trail. We wandered the forest for a long time, soaked our feet in the swamp, and got stretched over by wild raspberry. But at least we found their camp. Okay, we know where the camp is now, so we can go there if we want. Right, tire. But we need to rest again. All right, I got my rest. Uh, let's see if we can keep getting to the lair here. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. We've arrived. So here we are. The monster is here, and now I'll tear him apart. Yes, just watch me. Uh, and don't interrupt me. A Mary blurts out as if anticipating being cut off. I speak on when I speak on. She grunts, and her narrow eyebrows narrow. She clears her throat. There's a custom where I am from. A boy kills a monster in front of the elders to prove he's a man. The barbarian clears her throat in hesitation. In our tribe, girls don't get no initiation at all, so I arranged my trial by myself. Like in the song about Cargo the Orphan, I downed a cave lion in single combat. Here, see the scars I got in that battle. And do you know what my elders did after I threw the lion's skin at their feet? Uh, they discover they invoke some informality and declared your initiation invalid? I wish! They laughed in my face! They said I scratched my belly myself and hired some man to kill the lion for me and trade for... Ugh. Later they agreed my initiation, of course. They had no choice, but... Her voice wavers in anger and she spits on the ground. Hmm. Must you really slay him in single combat? From a distance, Amiri examines Tuskutter's muscular body and sharp tusks. Bah! You think I can't butcher a pig by myself? No. If the elder saw the beast was about to kill the boy, they would help him. There is no shame in that. But it doesn't matter. I'm just saying. Now you stand and watch me gutting the beast. Alright. To battle. Gorum, watch me! With a battle cry, the barbarian charges the boar. I'm going alone. Got it. Well, we'll help her if she needs it. Okay. 
Why are we still moving forward? Okay, I have, I have control of them. I just didn't think I did. Alright, uh, you're going to need to do something wild here if you're actually going to... You need to rage. She's doing pretty good so far. Um, she has a treat affliction as well. Can he Shiku de Grom? No. We'll just have to hope her auto attacks can do enough. No, don't hit it. Don't shoot at it. Don't shoot at it. Don't shoot at it. Just keep walking around, guys. How's she doing? Yeah, she's got this thing in the bag. Everyone back out. Come on, Amiri. Go for it. I wanted it. Come finish it off. What, you want us to come help? Okay, A let's go. We're edge. coming. <laughs> Woo! Breathing heavily, Amiri stands over the corpse of the fallen monster. What you say? CB in action? I almost chopped his head off. Yes, a real epic battle, just like the sagas. I won't even have to embellish it for the book. That's it. Trial done. Now no one dares say Amiri is weak. She grins and thrusts her chest out. You are a valiant warrior. Were there truly fools who doubted your strength? Some did, you know. I spit on them. No one will dare bark at me now. Still, why do you want to kill this monster? You passed this test back while you were... When you were... When you... When you... When you... When you... When you... Ah, Jesus. You passed this test back when you were with your tribe, didn't you? Mary's face reddens. Well, not just pups must pass this test. If a man is newcomer to a tribe, he must bring a monster's hide. Prove he's not weak. Her voice shows off, then falls silent. I'm honored you consider me part of your new tribe. You're a strong and valiant warrior. Just don't start this... That... Mary stops, trying to choose the right words. Don't talk me about honor and valor. I know already. She frowns and turns away. Still, I owe you thanks. You have a true chief's heart. You know what? If we meet another monster like this, I'll kill it too. Not for a test, just just that nobody would ever dare say Amiria isn't a warrior. Well, I say you're a warrior. Let's get that thing's hide and stuff. His head. Skin him as well. Ah, uh, we failed the nature tank. Alright, let's get out of here and get back to Oleg. Twelve seconds later. Darn it, we couldn't sneak by past them. Where are they? Oh, goblins. Mary charged that one. We'll handle this one. Oh my god, Lindsay! Uh, yeah, let's rest. So it would take a whole day, so. Actually, you know, we're already out here. Let's rest and let's head to the house over there. Alright. We're going to the abandoned hut. Forward! Whoa, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, we have to go here first. We have to, like, choose. We haven't found it, so we have to go do a thing. Yeah. Alright. Oh, we're back on the road now, so. Alright. Up north. And we found it. Time to check out this hut. Guardian of the Bloom. Oh, it's her. Who we talk to? Whoa, who are these people? Father, please, I look for the herbs you asked for. There just weren't enough to- Silence! Do you forget the rules? You speak when I say, you do as I say. Disobedience leaves you punishment. But father, three times. Oh my god. Enough, I can't, enough. That was weird. Interesting. Let's investigate. Rotten wooden racks long ago used for drying herbs. Staircase decayed. Oh, some stuff here. Let's grab all that. The fog. We'll head up this way. We'll probably have to head up and around. More ghosts. Where have you been? I told you to prepare everything for the ritual. You will never give me orders again. What? Well then, summon your power. Maybe you'd like to try the acid. I am not your slave any longer. Whoa. Not your toy. Oh, that is 
See the stag lord? Not your son! Enough! I... I won't kill you. Your powers will be of use to me. From now on, you do as I say. You speak when I say. Disobedience leads to punishment. Always. Okay. So we're learning a bit about the stag lord. This is where he was. He grew up. Grab all this it's treasure. It's not my lucky day. Oh, you can't lock. You can't pick it. It's locked. I wrote it like I saw it. Okay. Well, that chest is out of our reach, I suppose. There's I the. I have been waiting oh. for you. The flowers, birds, and wind told me you would come. Oh, my poor flowers. They will perish before long in this fog. Seems that only you can see or hear the nymph. Ooh, mysterious talk with nobody. <laughs> I had a strange vision, a young man and an old druid who tortured him. Then they exchanged roles. Yes, yes. The soil, water, and stones here are infused with toxic pain and fear. They poison this place as we speak. You have seen where your enemy's journey began. The one called Stag Lord was once the victim of a cruel madman and has since become one himself. You see now how monsters are born. But what comes of regret for a thing you cannot change? There is no time to be lost. We must do away with the fog quickly. Okay, tell me what to do next. Search the area around the hut. Try to find anything that remained of the druid who lived here. I am sure the fog is his doing. This suffocating veil is as vicious as his nature. We should learn more about the fog and the ritual through which it was created. Return to me if you find anything. The past may hide the answers that shape the future. I'll return later. Farewell. I will be waiting. All right. In due time. Let's see if we can find some clues here. Some herbs. Some kind of stone. Oh, what a find! Stone altars decorated with an eroded foliage pattern and symbols of green faith. That is not far. Search the one house. Time worn and apparently deserted. Oh, what's this? Token of the Dryad. Okay. Interesting. Some more stuff here. Maybe around back? That just leads us to the map. As it should oh, we be. can go around and inside. Whoa! There's a wolf here. Do not fall Everyone back. attack the wolf. Oh, God, we crushed that thing. There's a chest here. It's just a goods chest, empty. Granted, the chest is covered with culinary herbs. They dried out long ago. Hmm. Oh, time. there's a stone over here. So, note, I went to the old temple of the elk again today. Wicked, gloomy place, just like my soul. It used to shine once, and it is hollow and horrible now. Did he spy on me? Maybe I should lock him up. No, let him be. What can he do, the useless coward? Just whimper and hide. Interesting. You come again. Oh. Did you find something? I found the druid's notes. They mention a temple of the elk. Can this help us? An ancient temple. The temple of the stag god. Yes, yes, that must be it. The place of power where the druid created the fog. Perhaps we'll be able to cleanse it from there. The temple hides in the thicket not far from here. You will need to go there and purge the place of whatever evil still lingers there, summoned by the druid's sinister ritual. Take care. You are my only hope. I have a clear goal now. I'll continue my journey. Alrighty. We must go to the ancient temple of the stag. Alright, but where is the temple of the stag? It's down here. Temple of the elk, rather. Alright, we'll head out to here. Then we'll head south. 82 kilometers later. There it is. The temple of the elk. That is not far. There's the nymph again. We found the right trail. The ritual was held here, but be careful. There are dangerous beasts ahead. Nothing we can't handle, I'm sure. They are both guards of this place and tokens of the druid's evil magic. Please be careful. We will be. Don't worry. Just 
she's gone again. I'm gonna take this bow off my back. Look ridiculous with it on. In due time. That? What is that indeed? There are gi primal giant frogs here. Oh, uh, Lindsay, can we start this off with some alchemist fire? I think so. And so the rock died. May I suggest another way to use this spell? Throw it, Lindsay. <laughs> Okay, Lindsay, get out of the way. Oh god. There's there's not enough space for her to move. We are in a very tight spot here. These these giant frogs are not too difficult or anything. Whoa, is this where the fog's coming from? The muddy water gives off a strange nauseating smell and emits the tattered fog. There's an ancient statue of Aristal. Seems to resist the ravages of time. The effects of years, rain, and wind have destroyed the temple walls, but they cannot subdue the statue. Interesting. Well, let's head further in. Maybe there's a way to woo bear-like treant. That's crazy. Suffers less damage from weapons. Hmm. Oh, he's about to do a stunning blow of some kind. All right, Amiri, get in there with your charge. I'm gonna smite the thing. Valerie, you just do you. And we're gonna try to, let's see here. Try to do an ear piercing scream on it first, Lindsay. Oh, it's attacking somebody. Which tells us that okay, we've almost killed it. It's dead. Tristian, who's this guy? I swear, never have I been so glad to meet a stranger. Even with the power granted me by Saren Ray, I almost lost. You have my thanks. Saren Ray seems to be a healing Allow goddess. Me to introduce myself. My name is Tristian. Uh, you're wounded. Do you need aid? You are very kind. Kindness to strangers is in short supply these days. But worry not. Saren Ray's priests are skilled in the healing arts. I can heal myself. Uh, a nymph directed me here. She thinks the enchanted fog in this temple is created by the druid who serves the bandit leader. I expect defeating the beast guards should cause the fog to clear. I have never spoken to nymphs, but I believe their assessment is accurate. The creatures occupying this temple are far from ordinary animals. The power that moved them here is related to the fog. The beasts hold the fog as anchors hold a ship dancing in the waves. From what I can tell, once the beasts are defeated, the fog should begin to clear. Well, would you like to join us? I promise to think about your request after you deal with the beasts. But please, allow me to catch my breath for now. All right, I'll be back after I deal with the beasts. I will wait for you. This fog bothers me. All right, uh... Can I get some heal zores? Does, does, does any of us have heal zores? Uh, yeah, she has. Well, yeah, she has cure light wounds. Yes. All right, we're good. Okay, that's a touch spell. All according to plan. I am your shield. And how many times can you use that? I guess as many times as she wants. What's my spell book? Yeah, I don't have spells yet. I just have smite evil. Alright, let's find more of these beasts to kill. There's one. Primal dire boar. This one should be easy. If we can hit it. Lindsay, hit your shots, girl. This thing just does not want to go down. There we go. Ooh, that was a good hit. And it's just going to disappear. In due time. Maybe further up here, there's some more beasts. What are those? More tokens of the Dryad. Doesn't look like there's anything else up here. Can I check the map real quick? Yeah, we can see how much map we got here. 
That is not far. Maybe down this corner. Yep. We will be victorious. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Oh, I got some kind of second t second status effect. Maybe that'll maybe cure affliction will help me out on that. Go ahead and rage for us, please. And I can't smite evil anymore today, so uh yeah, okay. That did heal my second status effect. Oh, she used all her spell slots. Okay, yeah. Ooh, let's inspire courage. Here we go. We got all those. What troubles you? Follow my lead. I don't think there's anything else in this corner. Aha! Looks like we've cleared the fog. The water's crystal clear and seems to radiate a gentle, soothing shine. Oh, did that all heal us? According to plan. Oh my god, it's healing us. That's so cool. The beasts are defeated. What now? Praise be Saren Ray. Now, if my knowledge serves, the fog should weaken and eventually clear entirely. We need only wait. <laughs> Perhaps somewhere more hospitable? <laughs> are you ready to travel with me now? You've saved my life, and I wish to repay good with good. I will gladly aid you in your journey. Welcome aboard. Let us be off. We will accomplish much good together. I'm sure of it. All right, buddy. Welcome aboard. What are you? You are an Ecclesiotherge. Showing physical for protection via the strength of his faith. He has high wisdom. He's definitely a healer type. All righty. Oh, there's chest up here. Let's check that out real quick. Woo! Treasure! Grab all that. Let's make sure we don't leave anything. All right. Now we can head off. Back to Oleg's. Oleg, my companions and I have returned. We have a visitor, Jod Kavkin, a venerable priest of Arastal. He wants a war with you. Oh yeah, I helped him out. Uh, Tuskutter's dead. Come out his head on the wall as a trophy. Oleg looks at the bloodstained boar's head with respect, touching its tusk with his finger to test how sharp it is. That's one heck of a beast! I'd love to have a trophy like that, but a deal is a deal. The dead, the head goes to the old Benzin, and his bounty goes to you. We got a gold coins, 400 of them, and a masterwork longbow. Nice. Alright, see you, man. I'm gonna go give this ring to your wife. Hey, I'm not hitting on you, but this is uh, your ring. Uh, Kressel gave it to me. I convinced her not to fight us. Svetlana sighs bitterly. I suppose I should tell you the truth about her. Kressel wasn't her real name. Her real name was Irena, before all this. She was the daughter of my mother and her second husband, my half-sister. I can't help but feel like everything that happened to her was my fault. She always had a wildness to her. She'd wander the streets, hang out with a bad crowd. Till the day she passed, mother complained about Irena constantly. Back then, it was just cruel games and strange escapades. She never really hurt anyone back in Restoff. Father didn't live much longer than our mother, so I decided to try to help her. I brought her here to the Stolen Lands, though Elege was against it. Once here, she immediately fell under the Stag Lord's influence. She never even needed to meet him. The stories and rumors from local hunters and bandits were enough to win her over. She would tell us how, she was a, how he was a real leader, unlock Restov's softies. Eventually, she ran away, only to return under a new name with a pack of thugs to collect taxes from us. What's worse? She participated in the torture and execution of prisoners alongside the Stag Lord's minions. I don't know if there's any way to set her back on the right path, but I'm grateful for your kindness. Perhaps there's still hope. For the sake of my mother's memory, I'd like to believe that. I have to go. Farewell. Well, we killed Tuskatter, got his head, got the reward, and we went to the temple and made sure the fog would eventually clear. So I think that's a great place to leave off for today. Elendil's going to go to sleep right now so he can get some rest. So, if you like this video, please leave a like and comment down below. Subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell notification button so that you always know when the next video comes out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Farewell.